morning everyone it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your what's cracking for Tuesday the 11th of August um, firstly thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um, tomorrow I've been on YouTube for two years it's been an amazing journey um, and I, I couldn't have done it without you guys so I want to let you know you know how grateful I really am for having you on board um, if you are interested in classes, personal readings, life coaching, relationship coaching, um, any sort of coaching, you can contact me below. Um, if you are interested in donating to the channel, would like to help the channel grow, please help me out there too. Um, before I go any further also, I want to say thank you to the beautiful Denise who sent me through this tarot yesterday. I've wanted this one for a while. And I've already got the Oracle deck, so now I have the Tarot deck as well. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you for your beautiful comments too. I um, had a lot of beautiful, I always get a lot of beautiful comments, um, but I had some really amazing ones yesterday. So thank you so much. It really makes my day reading those. Um, I love it when you let me know how things resonate with you. I love it sometimes. Um, when you let me know that things haven't resonated but there's something about the reading that's brought something home for you uh, in particular the oracle card and it's really strange because I used to be reluctant to draw oracle cards because I think that the only way to really get them across in a way that's good is to actually read what the author wrote and that can be a little tedious for some people so I've been always reluctant to read it but because of your feedback I realise how many of the oracle cards resonate with you, even sometimes when the reading doesn't. So I'm going to continue to do it. All right, let's get on with your reading. So I'm going to use this beautiful tarot deck today. Um, the Wild Unknown. Yeah, I've got the oracle deck as well. I bought the oracle deck in Adelaide a couple of years ago, and it's such a beautiful deck. So, all right. It's always new, nice having a new deck, you know the feel of it. Sometimes though the decks are really thin. So I've got all new decks with me now. Well, this week I've had three brand new decks um, gifted to me and um, I've got all of them on in play at the moment. Uh, okay, that was the, I knew there was something else. I'm gonna do a live Facebook uh, on the 23rd to celebrate the two years on YouTube um, at 10 a.m. Australian time. Now, in order to participate, you have to go over and like me on my Facebook page at The Aussie Goddess. Um, and then I do carpools. Now, I must say before we start, I only stay on for an hour. I managed to get probably 70 readings done in that time. It's pretty quick because I'm only drawing one to two cards. Um, occasionally, Spirit will flick out three, but we try to keep to one or two. Um, and not everybody will get a reading. That's just the way it goes. And I feel that if you're not getting a reading, then someone else needed it more. So it's not a personal thing. It's not, you know, I don't pick and choose. I just do as many as I can in the time I'm allocated. And some poor people roll around two or three times on there <laughs> before I finally get to them. But I haven't done one for a while. So I'm also thinking of opening up Instagram the same way. I'm just not sure how to monitor Instagram. Um, and hopefully I'll have more time to do some uh, daily diaries along the way. So it may not be all the time, but I am considering perhaps doing one or two a week. We're still running the G's gang. Um, so if you're interested in that, flick me an email and I'll include you in that too. And that's just a collective of people who just talk about spiritual stuff. All right, let's get going on this. That's been a big introduction. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have the magician coming out first. Oh, I love that it's represented by a leopard. Um, so the magician is a card that talks about manifestation. It talks about you being in the time to be able to manifest what it is you want. So um, I note that my pentacles and my earrings match that pentacle perfectly. Um, so you are in a, in a period or in a stage of manifestation at the moment. What does that mean? That means you're vibrating at a good height or a good level and you're vibrating at the level as the thing that you want to bring into your life. So if you're full of gratitude, 
you know, and you're really feeling good about yourself, feeling really confident and feeling really happy, then you vibrate higher, which means that you're now vibrating in line with the thing that you're asking for. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups coming through here. So the Seven of Cups is the card of, it's the card of dreams, illusion, delusion. Um, it can be about confusion because there's a lot of cups to choose from and you're not really sure which one you're going to get. But in this particular case, it's very much about dreams. So I feel like you're trying to manifest some sort of dream here, um, trying to bring something into existence that you want in your life here, definitely manifesting. Okay, so we have the devil card coming through. So I'm thinking here the devil's representing some sort of fixation or some sort of energy of desire, wanting, um, trying to bring something into your life that you want. You may be ready for, you know, it's a card of Capricorn. You could be ready to bring in a new job. You could be ready to bring in new energy around love. Um, but you're definitely manifesting something here with the devil card. Okay, and then we have the nine of, that's the nine of wands. So that's the card of being overly protected. And then we have the seven of swords. Okay, all right. And then we have the nine of cups. Radio. so what I'm thinking here and feeling is that you're trying to bring in something that aligns with you. Maybe you've been experiencing some sort of cycle here where you've been bringing things in that really don't uh, fit with what you want or don't really complement you in this world. You may be, uh, you may have been manifesting things at the vibration that you've been at. So it looks as though a lot of you raising your vibration to bring in things that really are much more suitable. So for example, if you've been bringing in relationships that have been a little tatty, um, I feel that you're really focusing on uh, dropping any sort of codependent issues and bringing in a relationship that sits with you that's not going to be like other relationships you've had before. So you're really clear now about what sort of relationship you want. And maybe you've never been clear about that before. Maybe you've desired a person, love, whatever, but now you're clear on what sort of relationship you want in your life. Okay, and you're manifesting. <laughs> Good news. All right, so make sure it's right. All right, so we have the Prince of, or the Knight of Wands coming through here. So the Knight of Wands is um, sometimes a little bit of a shady character. Note in this card, he's represented by a snake. So um, he doesn't have the most uh, high integrity sort of, um, <laughs> highest integrity in terms of his personality or his desires. Um, he can sometimes be seen as a player. He can sometimes be seen as someone who won't commit. I always like, because I have that lovely psychology, psychology background, I always think, mm, yeah, he's a bit damaged, this boy. Um, so we have someone here who um, may be difficult to pin down. But it also, it talks about passion and drive and moving forward with your passion. So it could be either way here, but we'll get the story. Okay, let's just dim the light just a fraction. There we go. You see the cards a little better that way. Alrighty. Alright, have the Five of Cups coming through here. Ah, uh, okay. Now I'm already seeing the story. Okie dokie, we have the Two of Wands. So... What we have here, and maybe in the past, you've been bringing in perhaps people who haven't wanted to commit. Uh, this always sort of gives this feel of uh, people who are emotionally cold, uh, maybe unable to give you what you want. Um, but you've definitely sort of been perhaps, uh, perhaps bringing in what is emotionally unavailable people. Um, and there's a new path now. So I think you've seen the pattern that you've been doing in the past. I think you've seen this sort of way of, of sort of perhaps bringing people to you that aren't really in line with what you want in life. So I feel with this two of wands here, you're ready to embark on a new adventure and bring in now something that, um, let me just see if I can get the shadow of that. Yeah, it's really not the 
cards aren't the greatest with the shadow on them, are they? All right. Um, and I feel now you're sort of trying to bring in um, somebody who isn't the same as what you've been bringing in before. Maybe that's the best way to say it. So I'm, I'll get a bit more information though. Okay, so we have, that's the page of cups. So there's a love offer coming in here. You are manifesting. Okay. So we have the hanged man. Oh, that's a beautiful card, isn't it? So six of cups. Okay. Oh, and the king of wands. All right. So what in fact is happening here is you're about to, you're about to manifest the sort of love you want here. So it's starting to happen for you because you're about to get an offer from someone who is very much together. But this person could be past life soulmate, but you could be also getting someone back from your past. Um, but perhaps someone who's done a little bit of work because they've sort of gone back and had a look at how they've been doing things too and they want something different as well. So someone who's been through growth here with this hanged man. Um, so some sort of love coming in, possibly from a Leo, Sag or Aries or someone who has those like placements in their chart, dominant placements. Someone who's possibly a past life soulmate, but could also be a past person. Let's keep going and we'll have a look. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands coming in here, dropping the burdens of the past, the Three of Cups, celebration and reunion, and we also have the Four of Wands here. So stability, happiness, possibly marriage for some of you, if you, that's what you've been trying to manifest. All right, let's just give it a good going over. I'll put a few extra cards on it. All right, so we have the magician. You're manifesting. There's some sort of dream that you want here, but you might be sort of peeling through some illusions in your life as well around what you want. Like I always think we know what we don't want in a relationship. We know what we don't want in a job, but we need to be clear for the universe to understand what it is we actually want. Because we all seem to come from this I don't want perspective, but we don't come from the this is what I want perspective. Okay, so we have the devil card coming through here with the nine of wands, giving rise to the fact that you don't want anybody who's going to be in any way or shape or form now of what you've experienced before. Um, you've been through this cycle. I feel that you're closing this cycle out. You're really clear about the direction you want to go in. Seven of swords coming through with the six of cups. No, the nine of cups, that's the wish card. <laughs> I didn't realize that before, I thought it was the six of cups. So there's a wish card here. You're definitely getting an offer coming in. It looks as though it's the type of offer that you've been waiting for. Whoever this person is, is vibrating on the same level as you. They're going to be able to offer you what you want. Um, and I always say to people, um, and I really relate to this, you know, um, in the movie, um, with Sandra Bullock, and I can't remember the name of it, where she writes her list. I know Aidan Quinn's in there, and he's got one with different coloured eyes, and she put that on her list. You're all going to remember what it's called. Um, it's like writing your shopping list. It's like saying, well, okay, this is the sort of person I want in my life. This is... Um, this is the sort of person I want to be with. I want a person who's like this. I want someone who's ready to commit, someone who's emotionally available, someone who's able to sort of talk about their feelings and you have your shopping list. It's no good saying, well, I don't want anybody who doesn't like to watch romantic movies with me because that's not clear enough for the universe. So what you need to do is to be writing, whether that you can write that down I'm sure that the spirit would be just as happy if you actually wrote your shopping list. But don't be trying to manifest from a place of what you don't want because you'll just get more of what you don't want. <laughs> so make sure that you are manifesting what you want. So I feel like you've got some, somebody coming in here to make an offer to you. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune comes straight out. So you've got somebody here who wants to make an offer. I feel like very possibly it's a King of Wands, Leo, Sag or Aries. But more likely, this is the person's attributes. They're a person who's a leader in their own life. They're very passionate. They're very driven. Um, they know what they want. They know what they want. Um, whoever this person is, is going to offer you stability. 
Um, and there's a lot of celebration around meeting this person. So there's a lot of sort of realization that this is the right person for you. Um, let's just have a look. Oh, well, I'm not even gonna go any further. <laughs> They're going to offer you love. So this is your person coming through here. I was gonna put some more clarifiers down, but I don't think I could beat the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, we'll do a love card. We're gonna take a card from the journey of love. That's a beautiful love reading for today. But just knowing that you've closed out some sort of cycle, you've taken back your power, you've let go of fear, and now you're going to bring in exactly what you want here. And Spirit wants that card. That says Ying, Lang, Ying Yang Lover. So I don't even remember ever reading this card, so that's really interesting. Okay, and I'm going to read you the card because everybody keeps saying how wonderful they resonate. So the force of attraction is stronger than your conscious control. There is no need to fight this inner genius. You can learn to speak its language instead. What is it that captures you, that pulls you close, that holds so much light for you? Why fight it? Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of a second prize. Why not claim your first prize? It is there waiting for you. It is yours alone, beloved. No one else can claim your own divine birthright for you. Be yielding and let your desire fill your body, your heart and your mind. You don't have to fight for what is yours already. It will come to you through the field of attraction that emanates from your own heart. It is not a question of worthiness or deservedness. It is not a question of trying to work out what you need or want. Your heart always knows. Listen, if you can still hear it, then just feel. You'll get the gist of it as soon enough. This oracle has a message for you. No matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you are making real spiritual progress. And what you want is the same thing that is wanting you. What you are seeking is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. Let's read the poem. The moment when to fill my heart again is measured not in time or sweet remorse nor tears that wash away unbridled pain, or morning's light which sings its soft retort. Such love has slept through storm and winters long, no one could break the stillness embrace, or hasten change before the season's song unfurls its melody and words so chaste. Empowered thus, I find myself compelled to cast aside emotions dormant still. My feelings spoke from depths the answers world, no need to pass the emptiness to fill. At one, our touch has opened hearts anew. Of patience born there waits a love so true. Thanks, everyone.